We're starting a new chapter now in our course where we're looking at managing our units and our options in our AutoCAD files. So we've got a new drawing for you. It's called managingfiles.dwg. And as usual, you can download it from the library to follow along with the video. Now, the first thing we're going to look at here is setting our drawing units. Now, you can see the drawing itself is a 2D floor plan. So we've got X and Y coordinates going on. And you can see that we've got doors, windows, chairs, tables, etc. Now, this flat 2D floor plan is metric and it's in millimetres. But in order to bring that into context, ideally, you should always measure a known quantity just to do a quick sanity check. So in the Home tab on the ribbon, you would go up to your Utilities panel, click on Measure and select Distance. And then zoom in perhaps on one of these doorways and just go from end point there and go onto the end point there. And you can see that's 1155.7. So you can see that that's obviously millimetres. It can't be inches, it can't be feet, can't be metres or kilometres either. That would be a very big door. But the idea is, is that you measure something to gain the context of the units of the drawing. So just hit escape a couple of times to lose the measure command. Double click on the wheel to zoom extents again as well. And what we're going to do now is look at setting up our units. Now, you can go to the application menu, the big red A, top left corner, and go into there to find your units command. But it's actually much quicker just to use your dynamic input. So we just type units like so and you can see it comes up on the suggestion menu just press enter and there's the drawing units dialog box now what you'll notice there is the length is decimal and we've got a precision there of one decimal place you can also use architectural which you'll see is imperial feet and inches and things like engineering again feet and inches and fractional feet and inches again and also scientific which is exponential and can be used for both metric and imperial for simplicity we're going to stick with decimal and one decimal place now if i want to change that i can go up to eight decimal places autocad actually calculates up to 20 decimal places but i could potentially say to myself okay i want to go for two decimal places and that would change the precision and the measurement that you're using in your AutoCAD drawings in the model space. It's the same when you look at your angles. If you go to decimal degrees there and click on the drop down, you've also got degrees, minutes and seconds. You've also got gradients and radians, which are all based around 3.14 pi. And you've also got surveyors units, which are based around the points of the compass for when you're surveying. Again, for simplicity, I'm just going to go with decimal degrees. Now, I always use, as a rule of thumb, double the precision, so four decimal places on degrees, as per the length here. So two there, four there. If I had one there, it would be two there. Now, the reason I do that is purely for accuracy reasons. The reason being a small decimal degrees iteration of, say, 0 0.01 can have a dramatic effect over a long distance. So the more precision you have with your degrees, the better. Now, you'll notice there's a clockwise box there, and it's unticked. AutoCAD, by default, measures counterclockwise. But if you want things to measure clockwise, you tick the box. Insertion scale, that's for things like blocks and so on. It will actually scale inserted content to millimeters or whatever other unit you want to use in AutoCAD. You don't need to worry about lighting, that's for rendering and 3D models and so on. So you don't need to worry about that so much. Also direction here as well. You can set direction. So default is east, horizontally to the right, that is your zero degrees. And the reason being is obviously mathematically that's how it is. If you look at X and Y and where the origin is, the zero, zero, that's traditionally how it's always been. And from a coordinate viewpoint, it makes your life a lot easier if you leave it at east and zero as shown in the direction control. However, AutoCAD does give you the option to change it, as you can see. You can use increments of 90 degrees or use other and actually pick an angle you want to work to. Notice as well, you can select an angle on screen by using this icon here. I'm going to leave that all as it is and click on cancel. I'm going to leave this as it is now and click on OK. So we've now set our units. 
Now, one more thing just before we come out of this video. If you want to be able to see your precision visually, switch coordinates on on the status bar. Just jump down here to the little hamburger icon, the three lines, the customization icon, click on it, come up here to switch coordinates on, which are not normally on by default. The little tick appears. Come back down to the hamburger icon, click on it again to close the menu. And as I move the crosshair around now, you can see the accuracy of my X and Y coordinates there with the two decimal places down on the status bar, roughly in the middle at the bottom of the screen there. So that's how you would set up your unit in an AutoCAD drawing. Now, be aware, always do that sanity check to get the context of your units. Use the measure command and measure a known distance, like a doorway, a window, a chair, a desk. That way, you know what units the drawing has been created in. And that way, you can obviously measure and draft accordingly.